Beth should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. Yes. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. But we both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. Best way to avoid blame? Look like the target. shooting at half a Paul's little amusement park. Yeah, well, Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral's somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? The boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Shit! That drone! It's in the wrong place at the wrong time, literally. Before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor.
need to open that gate. Still working on it. Hang tight. What about you? You're clear. Go. I can swing by go. and. No, just go. We went to all this trouble to grab her. I got a bad one. I'm going to keep her alive. I'm hiding sniper cover. Make my own way out. My plan was simple. There was a bridge to the mainland. I could fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and steal a car, drive it back to the swimming pool. Remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. Changing out! We'll see how it shakes out. Beth and Dr. Am are all clear, it was time for me to get gone. For that, I needed wheels. Okay, time to get a ride out of here. <clears throat> Valet parking. Beloved by car thieves everywhere.
this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Amaral doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it. Despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her. Until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. 
Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She'd been there the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. treatments they're losing their effectiveness there's no changing the inevitable time is just one closed loop and no matter what i do time ends i need to get in that lab there's something in there that i need the lifeboat protocol what is it that you're so threatened by martin do i look threatened to you this is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A cruel undisrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 Hatch. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people. Too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But you'd be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God? isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it. 
Paul Sawin's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyce Phil could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I can, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. If you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this. But I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home. And she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dr. Emerald. So well, it is in my straits. So, he said, here we are. Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. What is that? Not sure. It was playing when we came in. Into the darkest dungeon, located in the soft depth of the... Come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment, it's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. Three months. Congratulations. 